Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to calculate the duration of a bond. The bond that we have with us uh, is paying 3% coupon interest, has 20 years remaining to mature and it is going to pay us an annual coupon payment for these 20 years. The going rate of interest in the market is 4%. And therefore, the first thing that we need to do is to find out the price of the bond that we are going to substitute here in this formula. So the price of the bond has been found out here for you, $864.109. For the purpose of finding out the bond price, first of all, we need to know the coupon amount, which is going to be 3% of $1,000. Um, why $1,000? We are assuming $1,000 as the face value of the bond. It is always 1000 unless otherwise stated. So 3% of 1000 is 30. And since this coupon amount is going to be received every year, it is going to be an annuity that is going to continue for 20 years. So then we have an annuity of $30, which is discounted by using the present value interest factor of the annuity at 4% for 20 time periods. You have to be a little careful here when you're discounting Always use the going market interest rate. Do not use the coupon rate of interest for discounting purposes. The coupon rate of interest is only used for finding out the coupon amount. That is 3% of $1,000, $30 here. And that is all it is used for. So we have discounted this part here, the coupon part. And then at the end of the 20 years, we are also going to get back the face value. And that lump sum of $1,000 is discounted here by using the present value interest factor of $1 at 4% for 20th time period. Once we do that, we are going to get this result 864.109 and this 864.109 is going to be substituted here in this formula here in the denominator. Now finding out the duration of a bond is going to be a simple process. We are going to work with a table comprising of five columns and 20 rows. Why 20 rows? Because the time to maturity for the bond is 20 periods. So in the first column of this table, we list down our periods running from, running from 1 through 20. And in the second column, what we do is we write down our cash flows that we are going to be receiving from this bond. So the coupon amount is $30. That is what we are going to be receiving for each of the 20 years. So that is why we have this column pre-filled for you. $30, $30, $30 for all 20 years. Also observe that in the 20th time period when this bond matures, apart from the $30 coupon payment, it also returns back its face value to you. Therefore, the amount here is $1,030. $30 coupon plus $1,000 of face value. Now in the third column, what we are going to do is we are going to take a product between the time and the cash flow. Why? Look at the formula, the product between time and the cash flow here. So let us do that in our Excel sheet. Let's do it for one cell and we are going to drag this formula for all other cells so that the process is uh, a little speedy. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a product between this value and let me put a multiplication sign and then this value then let me close the bracket. So this is our product and this formula, we can drag it for all these cells so that our job can be done faster. So we have a product between time and cash flow now in this column, which is this part of the formula. Now what we need to do with this product of time and cash flow is we need to discount it. So the present value interest factors of $1, $1 at 4% is given to you for uh, all the periods in this cell. So this one here, for example, is the present value interest factor of $1 at 4% for the first time period. And then this one is for the second time period, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on, till we complete all the 20 cells in this column. And then naturally in the fifth column, since we are finding out the present value, that is this whole quantity here, what we are going to do is we are going to take a product between the values in column number three and column number four. So this is what we have done here. The values are pre-filled for you. Let me erase them and tell you how to find out these values here. 
I'm going to put an equality sign and inside I'm going to take a product between this value and then let me write a multiplication sign and then this value and then I'm going to close the bracket. This gives me the product and I'm going to drag the formula down so that it gets filled in all the cells. So now we have the product of this column and this column which is this part of the formula. But this part of the formula is still not complete unless and until we take the sum. Look at the summation sign here. We need to take a sum of all these terms, all these terms, this one, this one, this one, this one and so on for all the 20 terms. So that is why I have written here sum and in this cell I am going to take a sum by simply going to this button here and I select sum for all the cells and that is the sum 128. 82.68 and what do we need to do with this sum this one here we need to divide this sum by the price of the bond which is 864.109 so that is what I'm going to write here I'm going to say this value here and divide it by 864.109 and I'm going to close the bracket and this is what it is going to give me 14.908 or 14.91 years that is going to be the duration of this bond. So we should also write here years. So this 20 years bond is going to have a duration of 14.91 years. That is what is the effective maturity of this bond. Thank you very much my friends. Bye bye.